Michigan backcountry couple and co-hosts, Canadian native Colleen Kuehl and American husband Johnny Kuehl, let's say Johnny B. Kuehl, since I know that now, make no claim to being professional outdoor adventurers. However, both in their 50s have an amazing enthusiasm for paddling, backpacking, camping, and overlanding. They also find a great deal of pleasure simply sitting around a campfire, sharing a beverage with old friends and new friends alike. Their show, Backcountry Couples, airs on YouTube. And with that, welcome to the show, kids. Well, hey, y'all. Happy, happy Thursday! Happy Proof Friday. It is. And welcome to the show, kids. And happy Red Wings oh. are playing tonight. We're playing those ugly little penguins. Oh, no. Which we need to win this game. There you go. To keep our playoffs alive. Okay. I'm Johnny. And I am Colleen. So welcome to Backcountry Couples. Welcome to the cool show. I know. Excited for this. This is episode 11. Halfway to 22. Here we go. We Whoop. are excited. Whoop. So thanks for Whoop. showing up. Thanks for tuning in. All Absolutely. that good stuff. Uh, last time we chatted was... Um, the CW and Maya yeah. Marazaki. Yeah. Oh, I know you're gonna say like a like the radio Marazaki. Show. Yeah, Marazaki, which is awesome. Uh, it was that was another great show. I obviously all the shows are for the giggles worth. But it was a hundred percent giggle fest. Um, it was really neat to get to know um, CW on a different level because we've obviously you know interviewed with him on us being on one side and him being on the other. Right. So that was cool. He was he was laid back. Yeah. Um, we may or may not be going to Brazil. <laughs> because Maya is like, you guys have to come. Right. So, so, which is like now, because the weather down there is like, of course, you know, on the other side of the equator is their winter time, but their winters down yeah. there in Brazil are like phenomenal. She's like sunny all the time, hardly a little, hardly any rain. And it's like mid seventies all the time. Yeah. She's it's pretty like much sold jeans us. and t-shirt weather yeah. all day long. It sounds perfect. So, but they do have a show. It's on Wednesdays at 5 p.m. 6 p.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time, so 5, 5 p.m. Central. Central. Uh, and it's called Outdoors People. Mm -hmm. And it's Outdoors People because they wanted to focus on people who obviously love the outdoors, not just, you know. What the, a concept. I know it's crazy, right? But There's it's more just. Word again. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Anyways, yes. Yeah, so we oh. want you to make sure you go check them out, follow them. Um, they're everywhere. They're oh, YouTube, yeah, Facebook, um, Instagram, etc. all that crazy stuff. Um, it was the solar eclipse on, on Monday. Monday. I hope everybody got an opportunity to catch it. I caught like the tail end of it. You did, but you caught a little bit of the live stream. So that was kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. I was a man, we where I was located, it was like, you know, not the greatest. Yeah, but we had I just pulled it up on my phone, watched the YouTube live feed. Yeah, it was like Fox or something like that. And yeah. Some, I mean, a lot of people got some really cool pictures. Yeah, it was stuff. really incredible for sure. Oh, um, well, yeah. Just be ready for the next one, 2444. But we're there. No problem. Sure. Unless just, where we're it just, is. We'll just go into cryogenic, you know, sleep. And That's only we'll, 20 years. That's nothing. 2444. Oh, 20. It's not 400 years. 2444. I feel like it's not 400 years. Someone Anybody? tell me the answer. I think, it's, four, sure I think it's, it's 40 years. 24, Anywho, <laughs> it was pretty awesome, nevertheless. Um, <clears throat> so hopefully you caught it, which is cool. Next show, so you know we're doing it every kind of other ish. We are looking at April the 25th. Yes. Another awesome backcountry couple, which is exciting, of course. And we always want to say thank you to our sponsor. Mickey Wicky. Mick Wicky. Yeah, there we go. So Mick, Mick Wick, my All friends. All natural fire starters. They are. Some of the best coffee out there, <laughs> in my opinion. I, 24? Well, thank you, Suzanne. Suzanne. Oh, thanks, Suzanne. C24, not 400. Four, yeah, there you go. I thought it was 24. 24. No, I mean, that sounds kind of wild. Um, it does sound cool, though. It does. So, Mickwick fire starters. If I know our guests tonight are familiar with them because they've already had some of these before, so we're excited to share them again. Mm -hmm. Um, but there's no tinder ever needed, which is nice, no kindling, they're all natural, so there's no harmful chemicals, they're lightweight, they're waterproof. Um, burn up to 20 minutes. They're the bomb.com. So we love these. I know exactly. And like I said, the coffee. Smoked coffee beans, medium, medium style roast. Very, very delicious. I mean, yeah, we've been, uh, yeah, we've been having it on, we, our, on a road trip up just, to the, up to camp. So I was just going to say that that was our road trip coffee this past weekend. And it was so delicious. We hadn't had it like, for a bit. So yeah, it's a, it was awesome. It's a, having a 
sip of coffee it by is, the campfire it is. in the front seat. So truck. we do need to thank Mickwick for that, um, for their sponsorship for three years in a row. So you're fabulous. Thank you very, very much. Um, but make sure you use our code, right? So we have a Kill Quest code to save 15% off, which is on all of their products, including oh, like their swag, which so, yeah. is awesome. Oh. Go to mickwickfires.com. They do. That's their that's their like website. Mm -hmm. Mickwickfires.com. Yeah. <laughs> that's where we go. <laughs> right on. So go to mickwickfires.com. Yeah. And anything you order, whether it be swag, coffee, right, fire starters, yep. or everything in between, yes. that's on their website. Yes. Use the code KillQuest. And you can save fifteen percent, which is awesome. awesome. Every time. I love it. Every time. Yeah. So one, that is it's awesome. It's not an email one-time offer. This is every time. A one-time offer. Oh, brother. I hate those. The, what, it's the one time? That's not the... um. Uh, who oh, was the guy in the... They sucker the you seven, to get this, their email. Your wasn't email it called this. Ronco something? Oh, Ron Popeil? Ron Popeil. Or yeah, I don't know. I remember that being it, like, a, like an infomercial or something. Fisherman, which you still can get. <laughs> it's probably like $1,000 now. Mm -mm, it's like 80 bucks. Oh, jeez. Anywho. We have been, like John said, we had our coffee last weekend and we traveled back up to camp. the camp. Um, so, which is what we're calling it, our journey to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And uh, our video was put out last week. So it was kind of like we were staking our corners. We discovered that we had a lot of animal activity um, on the property. So we had Wolf um, Prince, which is really cool. Wolf, Bobcat. We have bobcat. forest chickens, and we no, we saw um, those too, which is cool. What is, it, what is that? It's not a mink. It's a oh, an an, er, an ermine, ermine, er, ermite, ermite? Er, ermine or ermine. It looked like a mink. It was all like nice, white, and skinny. Yeah, but so that was kind of cool. So those um, are good. They eat they eat field mice and stuff like that. Okay, so that video was up. So make sure you check it out because there's a lot of cool things coming, and we really want you to follow along. We should we, have another one tomorrow. Well, I, at least the weekend for sure. So we're we're counting on that, which is nice. Yep. Um, and we're gonna post up um our last visit, like we said, and we were chatting with excavators. So we're gonna and we discovered more about the property. Um, we installed some video cameras, so there's a lot of neat things that are going on, which is awesome. So right. we thank you for that. I know my face looks way better. <laughs> yeah, so he was like this, he was uh yeah, baby, baby face, which is so Well, crazy. I did what I said I was going to do. I was going to start with it. You know, we right. bought the property. I was going to go yes. up there and I said, yes. we'll start with a clean shave. Yes. Never again. Right on. Ugly. I love Ugly. it. Ugly. Okay. Hated it. I look like 50 pounds heavier. It was just weird. Stupid. It was really, really weird. Um, Let's have a chat. Yeah. Eh? Let's go see what's going on up here. So oh SB Raven chimed James, in. He's going hey, to be uh, As checking, always. Back, checking back in later. Thank you so much. He's got to check out. You're awesome. Nice to see you. Friend. Tangents on trail. Oh, yeah. Where are you? Does it say where you are or did uh, I miss it? No, I'll look and just, see. He just said he's okay. on trail. So Hi, that, that's cool, Jerry. Very awesome. There's Carlson. That, there's that Carlson. Hey, guy. Have, we have not connected in a long time, dude. How are you? Hope you and Paige are doing good. So yeah. that's nice. Canadian. Canadian. Hey, everybody. And Ooh, thank the, you. Thank you. The super good people. Super good peeps. Hi, Tim of Hamilton. Hi, Mom. Hello, Mom. Suzanne. Suzanne. So, Mrs. Hashtags on the house. Thank you. <laughs> Adventure hey, anywhere. Says, uh, Hi, guys. Going to try to pop in and out here at work. Okay. Oh, I'm going to write you a note, Mike, and Thanks, then you Mike. don't have to be at work. You'll be all good. We'll, we'll get you some sushi or something. There you go. Oh, he loves sushi. Canadian. Oh, oh it's the Weasel family. They kind of, well, they were kind of weaselly. That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, Darren Davidson. Hello. Hi, Darren. Nice to see you. Oh, he's in the grass, tangents in the grasslands. Doing the grasslands. That nice. is awesome. So welcome, everybody. Um, if you love what you see, you love hanging out with us, thumbs up. Thumbs all down. that all that good stuff. Tune in. If you want to see. Tell your friends hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see what's going on with the property. And we want you to follow because we're really who excited. Like, who doesn't like hanging out with cool kids? I think everybody does. I always say the cool. I said who doesn't? It. Oh, every, I think everybody does. Um, our last show is going to be. I'm going to say this because it's going to be May the 16th. So we only have a couple shows left, and May the 16th is going to be I've our got three more shows left. And our guests are going to be you. 
So you ain't saying nothing. I'm saying it because no, I want everybody to be available for May the 16th because we're going to put it back onto you and we're going to have it a fun show where we're going to share what they've got going on for the summer. So we're going to reach out to all of our backcountry couples, you know, our, our people that chime in every week. And it'll be really cool to see what trips that everybody has um, I'm planned for. And we're going to have like a little pre-summer party. I love to party. And but so tonight's guest, if you have any questions, right? Yes. Let me go to this little brand button up here. Wait a minute. No banner button. That's it. That's the one. <laughs> yes. If you have a question, put the word question. Okay. Yes. In capitals. And it's just easier for John to recognize. Okay. So I got that's that, what I got that little tip trick from uh, Canoe Hound. You did. You did. I did. Which credit, is, credit is credit is due. That is true. As right well. on. All right. I, I know. know. I'm like antsy. I know. And I feel like every time we do a show every couple of weeks, I feel like I'm, we, I wish we were kind of doing it every week, but it's all good. It is what it is because we're back in the saddle again. So here we are. Um, couple intro, honey. We got no horses. You said saddle. I know, but no horses. Bad. Boo. Boo. I want to talk to our people. All right. It's been a long time. Show. And we wanted to like chat with them forever. You ready? Here we go. Like Pac-Man. It was a are you ready? I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. We have Indiana in the house, everybody. Yay! Who's your nation? And we, it is who's your nation. And we've had Indiana a few times. So they represent a lot here on backcountry couples which is pretty darn cool yeah we've and had, we have had some bros and we, we had hikers we, yeah and we've had the pleasure of meeting this couple a year ago mm -hmm. which is really awesome almost to the date uh, pretty close actually and they truly have an adventurous life of hiking of camping biking kayaking and they throw a little bit of cruising in the mix these two are turning their dreams into goals and their goals into reality. Come on, who doesn't love that? Welcome from an adventurous life, Philip and Celeste. Hey guys. Hello. Hi friends, how are you? Oh, we're doing great. Good awesome. to hear. Thank you so much for coming on the show tonight. Oh, thank you for having us. This is exciting. Well, oh, it's our pleasure. Well, thanks for the remix. <laughs> right? I mean, it was. Yeah. I looked back and it was supposed to be like, I don't know, January the 4th or 2nd. I was like, oh my gosh. So I'm glad it worked out that you were able to, we were able to, we're all healthy and all good. So awesome for mm -hmm. that. Um, we always love to know like how we, you know, got to know you, right? And just like we had said, so one year ago we met at the Indiana YouTubers meetup, meet up, right? At the Blackwell Horse Camp. Yeah. So, so that was really cool. We got to hike together. That was yeah, we got to go in a cave. And we got to go, well, I didn't go in the cave. Well, some people got to go in a cave. Some people went to the entrance and froze. But I mean, we won't say who. <laughs> that's, that's, I'll own that. No, I can't do it. I cannot do that, which was awesome. So that was really, really cool. Mm -hmm. And then, um, uh, and then we got to meet some awesome people. Like what a good group down there. You know, and to think that you guys, you know, have that in your in your doorstep as well, like that, Charlie. There's our people. See, and then Hello. oh, and then Celestia, I see you, but you're hiding. <laughs> <laughs> but that was the gang that we met. That was the group that we got to go on the hike with, and into the cave or outside the cave. And when I was looking at some of the videos, I mean, Philip, you were helping me down that little like slide, like you know, oh, yeah. the little kind of entranceway. So I thank you for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, what a, what an awesome time. Um, you know to meet you guys there and and we've only met you obviously on social media before and i remember it was we, we were handing out the mic so i was like hey it's philip and celeste <laughs> i was so excited how did you two meet well um yeah <laughs> long time ago <laughs> yeah um so i just turned 50 and when i met her i was in high school and running around with my cousins um who lived out in the country and we went to go pick up a, a buddy of theirs. And so we got to his house and he came to the door, and hung out there for a minute and his sister was there. <laughs> and when we went to the car before the buddy came out, I asked my cousins, I said, who was that girl? <laughs> and they said, well, that's my buddy's sister. You can't ask her out. 
and uh, <laughs> I didn't listen. Uh, I bided my time. It took a few years, but I finally asked her out, and uh, she said yes, and it's all her fault ever since then. So <laughs> It's all your fault. What? <laughs> she said yes, so everything that happened after that, she agreed. <laughs> so you just, like, kept seeing her at, like, yeah, I would just be hanging out with her brother, and uh, and we would go to basketball games. She was a cheerleader, and so uh, you know, I'd be like, "Sure, I'd go to this basketball game." <laughs> I don't know, but yeah. Did you even like basketball? Uh, it was okay. <laughs> yeah, not me. I love it. Now, would you tell the same story, Celeste? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Uh -huh. Since I was 16. So. Wow. Well, that's wow. awesome. And you've been married for like 28 years or something 25, like that. 25. 25. 25. 26 this year. Yep. 26 yeah. next month. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> so, uh, side question. Were you guys uh, outdoorsy growing up? Not too much. I mean, the family would go on camping trips and we went canoeing, okay. you know, um, but not a whole lot. I mean, I enjoyed it. You You'd know. go cut wood with your dad. Yes. I <laughs> would help my dad cut wood a lot. Nice. <laughs> How much nice. I help. But. That's still going on in the country. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I grew up, my dad, I mean, we grew up in a, I wouldn't say a small town, but it wasn't very big. Sure. Um, my dad loved to go bass fishing. And so I spent a lot of weekends out on the water um, fishing and uh, we did a little bit of camping and my cousins that I spoke about earlier lived in the country. So I'd go out there, shoot bows, um, camp, um, wouldn't call it real outdoorsy, but I'd like to be out whenever I could be. And, you know, kids at that age, we were sure. out all the time. Mm -hmm. Until the streetlights came on. Um, <laughs> that's pretty much that's curfew time. It's yeah. like when streetlights come on, yeah. you better hightail at home. Their mom's yelling out the out the, out the front porch <laughs> or whatever. Don't, don't go there. Right? That's awesome. And then you kind of married into a bit of a hunting family, though. Yes, yes, I did. I I I I had shot guns before and you know, I'd done a little bit of rabbit hunting and things like that, but once I got married, um my father-in-law um, suggested quite often that I would go hunting with them, um, <laughs> deer hunting. And so I bought a bunch of gear because um, I had zero gear to go hunting. Sure. I had no camo, no gun, no tree stand. So I, I spent a lot of money, never have been hunting before, <laughs> on the gamble that I would like it. <laughs> and... Uh, I harvested a deer the first day I went hunting. Nice. What? Yeah. My, my, my wife had said before I left, Celeste was like, you better like hunting. You've spent a lot of money. And <laughs> when I got home that night, I said, you're going to wish I hated it. Um, <laughs> and uh, so the next year I picked up bow hunting and that's oh. really what I prefer. I, whether it's hunting or just out shooting a bow, if, if I'm going to have a. Okay. Something outdoorsy, you know, yeah. just out shooting around. I want it to be above. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, I, I love, love it. I mean, we, I took her to a range one time. Uh, ooh, it's been a couple years. It now. has for bows. For bows, and we just get sized up, and you know, all that kind of fun it was stuff. A and different way it. of doing things. Loved it. Cool. I, I mean, I just like, I don't know. It's peaceful. It don't get me wrong. Don't. I love guns too, but, but yeah, just shooting bows like. Beautiful. If somebody said I could only have one weapon for the rest of my life, it'd be a bow. There you um, go. Okay. I just, it's just, it's fun to shoot. Sure. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. You guys have a really solid Instagram account. So everybody who's in the chat right now, I feel like a lot of them are friends anyways, and they all follow you, which is amazing. Um, but everybody, please go and follow Philip and Celeste on An Adventure of Life on Instagram. Um, it chronicles stories of your life and the journey that you guys are taking, which is amazing mm -hmm. um have you always had like planned adventures like when you like even like you know um when you guys were first married yeah like, as a young couple where you're like hey let's try and do a little camping together or let's go fishing or let's whatever that looks like 
Well, we we did a little bit, but okay. we, had, we had little kids. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, it would be more of taking them, you know, to catch some bluegill. Okay. Yeah, you know, there's plenty of lakes near us. I'm good at that. Yeah. <laughs> and so, um, it, we didn't get real adventurous until our kids got older, and we started realizing they were still in the house, but we started realizing they're not always going to be here. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we need to hang out together. Yep. And so we started planning just trips for just me and her and just whatever we could do. Right. Um, you know, was we, was one of your first trips the Haiti, like when you guys did that missionary trip? Um, that was back in 2011. Crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's right after the earthquake. Yeah, it was a okay. year after the earthquake. We didn't okay. go right away. But um, once again, this is. It seems like the story of my life. Someone else wanted to go, and I said, "Sure." I say yes. I, I probably should learn to say no, maybe. But um, we'll start now. You're fifty. Don't but, do it. <laughs> but, uh, but Celeste had wanted to go for a long time on a mission trip, and okay. we started going to this church. Uh, we had a lot of friends there, and they were planning this mission trip, and I wasn't going to let her go by herself. So right, right. So we went and. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't call that glamping. We were camping. No, no, no. It was a, uh, it was, it was an adventure. Sure. Um, but we fell in love with the place, and uh, I found out where my home away from home is because I like warm weather. Yes. Oh, so it's 110. Yeah. On a regular there. Yeah. Um, with Indiana humidity, so it's probably not a good combination <laughs> for a lot of people. But sure. <laughs> but but I I enjoy hot weather and okay. it's, it's always warm there and the people are great but but yeah i would say that was our first big adventure i've yeah. never even flown on a plane before sure we went to Haiti. and so yeah. so i had a lot of firsts that is a, it's a big deal right so do mm -hmm. you are you both choosing your adventures like are yeah. you both sitting down and saying I wanted this, or you want or to do say, this, oh, it's, or oh, hey, it's your you turn. know, yeah, or do you switch it up, or how do you do that? How are you picking what to do? Um, I think a lot of times we just, it's like let we got to go do something, you know. Okay. Let's, let's okay. have something planned. We like to have something planned, and so you know, we're done with. <laughs> we just got done with this two week long adventure. Yeah, and, and we don't have anything actually scheduled. And it's bothering us already that <laughs> that we don't even have something on the books yet. I mean, we've got some plans, but nothing's been set. Okay. So we like okay. to get things rolling. That'd be, and a, that'd be a fun thing to do. Have. Just take, get yourself a bowl and just like and fill in a bunch of us. adventures that you want to do and just shake it up and say, okay, what are we going to do? And just puck it out and, and say, all right. Do that. Why not? You no, know, I said you can. No, I said you can. But I this I'm wired like this. I am well, assuming. Well, it's not. I'm just saying, saying you're not going to plan for it. No. It's just like, oh, we're going to go to Machu Picchu. You, now we then we got to prepare for it. I agree. No, that's cool. <laughs> my thing is that when we're on a trip, well, your thing's not my we, thing. Before we come home, the next trip's already planned in my head. Like I'm already like, where are we going next? What are we doing? What's the timeline? All that kind of. Could you just get that bug, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, I want to go back. I want to go. Back. Or yeah, or whatever. So we choose a lot of different <laughs> things, which is awesome. Um, there's things that you guys have done that I'm definitely not choosing. I'm telling you right now. Oh, I will. <laughs> and he, I will definitely be doing this. Who chose this? Are you oh, guys? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was fun. That was fun. Stop that was, it. Sky it was, uh, I would do it again. It was what? Fun. She's afraid of heights. <laughs> um, I'm just telling you, she's afraid of heights. And when we got up to about 10,000 feet, she quit talking. <laughs> <laughs> But you're strapped with somebody else because yeah. it's a tandem jump. So yeah, right. they're making you get out. Yeah. And so, and she went out ahead of me. She <gasps> jumped out and I watch her. And then I jump out. And the guy that had asked me before we jumped, he's like, have you done this before? I was like, no. And he goes, are you nervous? I said, no. And he goes, you want to have fun? I said, sure. <laughs> so for me, I was one of the last off the plane, but the first on the ground because you lose a lot of altitude when you uh, do tricks. And even though I'd never done it before, he started spinning. And uh, 
then he's like, Hey, there's clouds over there. Do you want to kind of just go drift through the clouds? And I'm like, sure. So we go there. Like, yeah. And then he goes, he's spinning again. And I think when we're spinning that we're facing the ground the whole time and just spinning sideways, but okay. he tells me to look up and then I see ground sky, ground sky. We're spinning above the parachute. And uh, yeah, I didn't even know that was possible, but, uh, so we get to the I'm ground. I'm meeting right now. I'm letting you know. <laughs> you get to the ground. Celeste lands. I talked to her for a little bit, and I said, "What did you think when we first jumped out of the plane? And when you first jump out, you flip a couple times." And she goes, "Well, I didn't flip at all." I said, "Yeah, I watched you do it." So her eyes were closed for a few seconds when she jumped off that plane. Uh, <laughs> I did lose my breath. I did. The wind. Yeah, you free fall for a little bit before they pull that parachute in. Uh, wow. I didn't so know that. Was that here? Was that here? Was that there in Indiana? Yeah, it was in Indiana, okay. just north okay. of Indianapolis a little bit. Sheesh. <laughs> so was that, a, was that a celebratory thing to do that? Or was this like, hey, do you want to go well, skydiving this weekend? Right. You're, you're, you're going to get the theme here pretty quick. But <laughs> some other people asked us if we wanted to go jump out of an airplane, a group. They were trying to get a group together. And I said, sure, let's do it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is crazy. Well, here's <laughs> super good. I'm afraid of jumping out of a perfectly good airplane. Um, Yeah. Holy moly. I'd do it in a heartbeat. I was going to say oh, that. Wow. Here's Tanya. She's like, I'd love that. You guys are crazy. Every single one of you. <laughs> <laughs> but that is amazing. And then, I mean, not only doing it from like, now you're, you're skydiving, you're doing that. You're like doing crazy things on the water too. Like I'm also not choosing this. Like you guys are nuts. <laughs> but no, I love, you are going to do this. I don't know. I just feel like, <laughs> don't know. Yeah. No. Which one? Keep going down, honey. Oh, where'd it go? This no. No, we keep going down. Oh, where'd it go? Keep yeah, going. It's not in there. Oh, I don't have it in there. Oh, go to the top. Maybe it? Not. You guys were doing the um white. That's not it. No. Well, no. We, no. No, get out of one? there. Oh, I guess I didn't upload it. You guys do the whitewater rafting trip when you guys were in Colorado with your daughter. Yes. I thought I did it. No, go back up again, honey. I'll find it. I guess not. That's okay. Just talk to so, yourself. So, um, crazy. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't upload it. Yeah. Okay. So tell me what was that all about? Like, that's nuts. That was a lot of fun. That was, was it? Auto and it was with our youngest daughter. Okay. And, uh, it was pretty intense rapids though. Out yeah. It was, in Colorado. They, they called it a category four rapids. Oh. Um, and our class four rapids is what we were on. Right. And, uh, they basically told us that, you know, just expect to fall out um, <laughs> and try to help each other up when you can. And there was a couple of waterfalls we hit and uh, that were bigger than the boat. <laughs> and uh, ma magically, none of us fell out. Um, one of us <laughs> almost did. But our guide grabbed a hold of her and pulled her in to keep her from going out. Nice. Sheesh. But yeah. you got wet. There was no there was no getting around. We got soaked, but oh, yeah. it was 100%. Class four crazy. Class, yeah. Class, class four. Class yeah. Four. Class. How long was the ride or the float or the drift or the it was it was probably a half hour to 45 minutes. Oh, that's uh, pretty decent. Nice. That's terrible. a long time. That is a long time. I just laughed the whole time. It was so much fun. Well, that's what I do when I get like nervous, right? I'll giggle like crazy, right? Because like, it's right? Gotta be, I got to be having fun. Yay. Everybody's <laughs> having fun. I should be good, you know? So um, what about kayaking? You've gone from the white water, which I wish I had that picture up. I'm sorry that I kind of forgot that. Um, but now you're doing kayaking. This oh is yeah, my, yeah, this is my speed. I like this. Yeah, you know? we have a a two person fishing kayak I bought years ago, and I've still never taken fishing. Oh, you um, should. <laughs> but I like it because I like to. If I'm riding a bike, I like to pedal all the time. If I'm in the kayak, I like to paddle all yep. the time. Yeah. And she doesn't like to paddle all the time. And I would leave her if we had different kayaks. So this works out great. 
got you. I get to keep paddling and she's right there with me. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like having a tandem bike. Yeah, exactly. Except Celeste is getting, she's like, honey, can you pass the suntan oil? <laughs> oh, well, uh, sometimes it gets so shallow um, that it, it, it just it just gets stuck. And so one of us gets out and pushes the other one like a princess. One of one us. Of us. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fun. Uh, Oh my God, that is so funny. And then you guys are just doing like little day trips, right? With the kayak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, there, there's a, a spot we like to drop in and it's it's 12 miles uh, of kayaking, which doesn't sound that long, but on a river that's not moving very fast. Oh, it's a river, okay. Yeah, it's, it's, okay. A, it's a day trip. It is definitely okay. a day trip. Okay. okay. What about camping? Could you do any of the... Um, it's like, a, like a kayak camping or anything like that with that. Well, we've not done that yet. Okay. Um, I'm a I'm a bit of a rule follower and I would feel bad um, if I'm camping on someone's property and they Got don't, okay. you know. And so uh, I try to find out what the rules are for the little yep. islands that are on the river. Ooh, that, okay. you know? um, but but no, we haven't. Okay. been adventurous enough to do an overnighter on the kayak because okay. i've seen um oh my god i forgot their names now who's your hiking mm -hmm. and they did something in i think is, is there any lakes within the charles c dean wilderness maybe yes there is so i feel like they might have there you can do kayak camping in and around through oh, there yeah. actually yeah, has established backcountry campsites yeah that, that's lake monroe it's a pretty big lake oh is uh, it and it goes right up to Dean Wilderness and people will kayak to get to the Peninsula Trail and a couple okay. other places that that way they don't have to hike seven miles in. They can Got just it. kayak. Maybe that's it. Okay. Oh, that's a more. Yeah. Heck yeah. Why not? Okay. That sounds more enjoyable. It does. It sounds, well, it's just something different too. What we got there? Carlson. Oh, see, he's kayak camped on Lake Monroe. Nice. So you know exactly what we're talking about. That's awesome. What about hiking? Right. There's day hikes. There's overnighters. There's section hikes. There's through hikes. I mean, we met, right? We had a little day hike, which was, I think yeah. it was like it was yeah. over four miles that we did that day, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, Nothing crazy. No, no. I mean, you guys have done like Sawtooth Ridge in Colorado, right? But last thing is you've tackled a section well, hike on the AT. Come well, on. We, we attempted. Yeah. <laughs> I, said, I said tackled. Come, come on. Come here. on. No, no, here's the story. I want so, the story. Um, so originally weird. Originally the plan was to hike for my 50th birthday to hike up to Mount Everest base camp. Yeah. That was the original plan. We were in Colorado and Leadville last year and Leadville's 10,000 foot elevation. And Celeste was having trouble breathing all week long, just being up at 10,000 feet. Mm -hmm. I did not want to take her to 18,000 feet and watch her die for my 50th birthday. That didn't sound like fun. That's a terrible plan. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there you go. We got some crazy dogs. Um, <laughs> But uh, so I changed it to something that's been a dream of hers, which is section hiking the Appalachian Trail. But of course, okay. I always have grandiose ideas. I planned two weeks <laughs> and she right away said that sounds like a lot for our first time. OK, so I bumped it back to one week. I was like, we'll do one week and then we'll go on a cruise for the second week. Um, I just want to do something for two weeks. Fifty only comes around once in your life. And, uh, right on. And I just wanted to do something. So our plan was a week, but with our lives being as busy as they have been lately, we have not trained appropriately for it. Right on. No, um, me. <laughs> hey, you were hey, good. Hey. It was me. <laughs> um, and so as we're getting ready to go, I start looking at the weather. And Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, it's supposed to rain. And I thought, well, for our first hike, I don't want to, you know, it's supposed to be 60 something miles. 
I didn't want to do over half of it in the rain. Yeah. So I, I made it audible the last second. So we're cutting it in half. But what I didn't pay attention to was where I was having the guy <laughs> drop us off. Okay. He dropped us off at the knock, which if you don't know what that is, that's about the lowest point you can be in that whole area. Yeah. If you the knock, it doesn't matter what direction you head, you're going uphill. Right. It was an uphill climb for eight miles. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And so we get dropped off at noon and within a couple hours, we're noticing that our packs are, weigh a lot. Well, her pack weighs about 27 pounds. Okay. Mine weighed about 43 to 44 pounds. <laughs> Um, but she started coughing because she has asthma. Right. It's not diagnosed asthma because, sure. it will. because she's a nurse and so she doesn't have to go to the doctor for nothing. Right. Uh, she missed her appointment last year where she was going to get diagnosed and they were going to give her medicine. Well, they didn't give her medicine because she missed that appointment. So here she is coughing. We're going up the trail. And so I just decide I'm going to take some stuff off her pack and put it on mine. So now right. my pack's over 50 pounds. And, yeah. and we're still going uphill. And 50 pounds is a lot. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I'm an overpacker. That is one thing that everyone who's ever went with me, that, that's just that I'm known for that. I take too much gear. But this was, this was a different level once I had over 50 pounds, but we only got about 2.8 miles. Okay. Um, and I said, I want to set up camp because some of this gear, like we, uh, we'd never cooked from the stove before. Uh, mm. So things that we probably should have practiced ahead of time. Yep. Oh, I didn't really yeah. do any of that in the dark. So we set up oh. camp pretty early. Yeah. Um, we found a watering hole, filled up our water. Um, a little bit farther and just set up camp. And to be honest, this is the part I was most worried about for Celeste because <laughs> she's not the biggest fan of the dark. And she's also not a fan of bear country. Oh, geez. <laughs> and so here we are in the dark in bear country. Oh, yes. Yeah, great. <laughs> yeah, two for two. <laughs> yeah. She wanted me to bring my pistol with me, but I told yeah. her I wasn't going to. Right. So, yeah. We had two cans of pepper spray and an yep. air horn yep. that one of us wanted to bring. <laughs> one of us did not want to bring it because okay. they knew what would happen. Okay. So it's dark. We're, you know, settling in. It's kind of cold, but we have this two-person sleeping bag, which means our body heat keeps each other it's warm. Like it was the best part it's of the whole really thing. Nice. We found out that was... That was a lot. I've, I've done a lot of winter camping and I've never been as warm as I was. Wow. It was great. Okay. But I'm sleeping and then I get woke <laughs> up. We hadn't been asleep very long. I get woke up to, what is that? <laughs> I said, what is what? What is that noise? Something is right around our tent. I said, no, I think that's just the wind blowing the leaves. <laughs> Nope, nope, it's a bear. Get out of here. <laughs> then she blows the air horn. And I was like, this is why I did not want you to. Oh I'm so glad God. people weren't camping right next to us, right? I thought this is what I was afraid was going to happen. This was going to be every night that we were going to be in the woods. She was not going to sleep well. But after about 15 minutes, she needed to go outside of the tent. Sure. Nature, nature was calling. Uh-huh. And I wasn't going to get up. Um. <laughs> I said, you can do this. She goes, well, I'm not going very far from the tent. I was like, that's fine. She gets out. She sees that it's just leaves. It's just the wind. <laughs> she comes back in and she sleeps through the night. <laughs> she did totally fine. And I, I felt right then <laughs> we can section hike the AT. I know Don't. we can. Because that was the part that worried me was the nighttime. Sure. Um, and so the next morning we get up and we start heading up the hill and I put a little bit of the weight back on her pack. Cause to be honest, 50 pounds, that was, that was too much for me. And we were going up for a little while and I look at her and she's not enjoying it. 
Like I can just see the pain. I, I don't feel like she fully recovered from the the episode that she had had the night before. Mm -hmm. And I started saying, you know, we could turn around and we could just hike down to the knock. And we could eat dinner there and we could stay all night somewhere in the knock. And then we can just we can just start our adventure doing other things until our cruise. And she protested. <laughs> but after a little bit farther, I said, I we have to turn around. And uh, she said, OK, she wasn't very happy about the idea, but she said, OK. But for me, I had to it brought back memories of another time I was on a mountain in March with my buddy Elton and his health took a turn for the worst. And it no longer became about hiking. It came about surviving and just sure. living through an event. And I did not want to go through that again. Sure. We were in that situation, mm -hmm. but I did not want to be in that situation. Right. And so I, I said, let's just turn around. She's like, we told everybody we were going to hike for a week. I said, I don't care. I exactly. Don't care. Exactly. We'll, we'll live to fight another day. We have two weeks off. And so we just got back to the knock. We did some glamping that night. Um, we, we got picked up by somebody and they drove us two miles and it was a little tiny home. Um, and it was set up like a uh, new orleans so it was all jazzy and that's fun it, it was really nice and uh we got to take a shower right um, and then we just hopped in the car and did one thing that i don't do i plan everything i right. have like i have itineraries i know what we're doing i i'm the planner and here we are we have all these days with no plan sure and so i'm just she's like what are we doing i'm like i don't know we're just let's just drive and so we drove to savannah georgia yeah. we've been there before but Ooh. Uh, we haven't we, been there yet that's no, on our we, list. Liked, we liked it and so we went there had a real nice dinner and went um to a hotel that night yeah, that's all we did. yeah. and the next morning we got up she's like where are we heading i said well this summer we have a trip planned with both of our girls and and their significant others um, at Cocoa Beach in Florida. Let's just drive down there and see what it's even like. We've never Perfect. been to Cocoa Beach. <laughs> so we stayed all night in Cocoa Beach. And while yeah. we're in Cocoa Beach, she said, we still have time. Do you think there's a small cruise we could get on? <laughs> and so I get on my phone and I start looking and I find uh, Margarita Villa of the Seas. It's a little two night cruise. Like I've never been on this cruise ship. Let's let's book it. So I booked it, and the next morning we're driving down to get on a boat and a little impromptu cruise, which is way out of my comfort zone. I don't do impromptu. I do planning. Sure. There's nothing wrong with willy nilly. <laughs> <laughs> it would put me over the edge. I would yeah, be yeah. like going yeah, the entire time. I don't do well with spontaneity. I I I like structure, and mm. so. But it was a good time. Um, okay. Went to the Bahamas. Didn't really do anything. Just went on a little cruise and then yeah. drove to Tampa so we could get on our week long cruise that we the had had. Cruise. Yeah. yeah. So, so that was our Appalachian Trail. It was very little Appalachian Trail, but we learned a lot. We did learn a lot. I was just going to say that it's got to be, I mean, first of all, in the community that we are here, right? I mean, some of us, I mean, Carlson has section hike quite a bit, yes. so he was a and good he's given us a lot of good information. Yeah. His videos really showed us a lot of what we needed to know. Absolutely, throw up their packs, honey. They got their, their gear stuff on there. Um, how did you go about choosing your gear? Because you said some of the stuff you hadn't even, um, like used before, you know, like right. oh, that's crazy. Well, <laughs> some of the stuff. Like I, if I go winter camping by myself or mostly it's with a buddy yeah. of mine, Brian Woolsey, I okay. hammock camp. That's what I'm used to doing is hammock camping. So. Okay. So that's lighter. Yeah. It's, it is lighter. And normally we're hiking to one spot. I can carry a lot of gear if we're just going three miles, stopping for three days and then hiking back out three miles. You know, oh, that's a yeah, whole yeah, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I agree. 
And so, so some of this gear I already had, a lot of this gear I already had, but like okay. stoves, I'm used to just making a fire, you know, like you just make a fire and, and just, right, just bushcrafting is yeah, really what yeah. I'm used to do. And so I don't ever have a stove because it's the fire that's cooking things, but yeah. I got to looking, they don't like it when you have a fire on the Appalachian Trail. No. And no. so once again, I'm a rule follower. Yeah. I, I wasn't going to try it. So yeah. I thought, well, we need to get one. And so, right. of course, uh, that hiking guy had done a review on one. And uh, that's awesome. And I said, well, that looks good. And he gave okay. me a code. Okay. So I ordered two of those. And, yeah. and, you know, the tent, a buddy of mine who I go riding with and hiking with said, well, hey, I've got this tent. Okay, uh, good. I don't need it, but I bought it off of him. Okay. But I'm not used to, I'm, I tent camp, you know, like we have big family tents yeah. for when we would take the girls out or whatever, but, but I'm not used to like backpacking tents. And so there's some things that we just didn't know. And I'd set the tent up one time before, but I never slept in it. Um, the pads, like every through hiker I've ever seen has those little foam pads. Yeah. They are miserable to sleep on. Uh huh. They are miserable to sleep on. We're gonna have to figure something else out there, or yeah. maybe they make better ones, and we right. just have horrible ones. But the ground was hard. For so sure. Hard. What about water filtration? Because you guys did say you filled up water when you got to your camp. I, once again, I'm used to boiling water. You Ooh, know, when I go okay. to bush crap camping, I just boil water and then sure. drink it. But I got, and, and of course, I actually was told don't get the Sawyer. Um, and so I got the Sawyer water filtration okay. system and yep. the bag, the bag, I'm not a fan of the bag. I like the filtration system itself, but I've seen some different bag setups where you can open the bottom of the bag. And, right. And, and that's something I'm going to buy before we do that again. For next um, time. Right. Now I have a, some buddies that I hike with that who've used the filtration thing. So I've known how to use it. I've just never personally owned any myself because i was used to boiling water that i would drink right crazy and then why did you go with a two-person sleeping bag because that's heavy it like, is uh -oh. no i know that because i remember, remember yeah. it, 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 it really like, wasn't it, that heavy it wasn't? but it was it, it was bulky it bulky. was bulky okay. it, it took up a lot of space right. and so celeste carried it and it took up about half of her pack so, so but it wasn't that it wasn't that heavy um it just took up a lot of space. Right, but right. I wasn't sure if it was going to be worth it or not until we got in it that night. And I'll make it. I'll make a way where we take that That's if awesome. it's going to be cold out. That's because awesome. I could not believe how warm. Mad hippies it was. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever seen or heard of the Mad Hippies? You should. Look I've at heard them. of them. Okay, so you should go watch some other videos. So they did okay. the Colorado Trail, and same thing. They are always, always. They said they don't care what the weather's like. They don't care what's going on. I will always. It's a non-negotiable. It'll always be a double sleeping bag. Yeah, I loved it. And I, I was like, it. what? But I mean, I guess we gotta try it. I don't know. Yeah, it's, uh, so, it's, I like the single. She squirms too much. Well, she, does like too. she moves all night long, but normally the problem with her is she takes my covers. But in a sleeping bag, well, she imagine that. Well, what what's a, yours is mine, honey. <laughs> so, so it worked out well. I mean, okay. she squirmed a little, but because we were kind of tied in together, she didn't move near as much as she normally did. Got it. It was cold enough. She wasn't doing her normal. <laughs> I'm hot. I'm gonna throw it off. Now I'm cold. I'm gonna pull it back on and take yours when I do that. Um, Aww. Aww. It, it, yeah, that put them in, really well. in the spoon lock. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I did notice one thing, and uh, all thing outdoors. I wish I would have paid attention, but he sent us a couple of these koozies, polar. Oh, the jammers. polar jammers. Yes, I love them. And, uh, he sent us a couple. And I kept sleeping with one arm out um, when I would lay up against her and my arm would get frozen. Mm -hmm. And it did that like half the night. And then I remembered I got those polar jammers and, and I slid one on and oh, it was like, oh, that's it was a perfect. Good idea. It was perfect for it. 
It was. I do the same thing. I yeah, it was, it was in out. the 30s. It was in the 30s that night. And that worked just great. as on, And we had two. So yeah. Oh, yeah, it, yeah, just yeah. Worked, it worked really good. Um, I, I wish I had thought of it idea. early on. But I don't have it. I just sleep under the covers. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, we got, we got a message from Carlson. He said, hats off to you guys to even attempting a section hike at the AT. So many people talk about doing the things but too few actually just go out for it and try to accomplish a dream beautiful well said agreed <clears throat> so you guys i mean you do what i call hybrid trips right so a hybrid trip is where well, you know clearly hiking and then and cruising <laughs> well this is what I mean. <laughs> so a hybrid trip to us is obviously there's a bit of you know outdoorsy portion right with a little side of fancy pants are you talking yeah. about overlay? That's what I call it, you know? So that's <laughs> what you guys do. And I love that. So you kind of get the best of both worlds, you know? Like, you guys love cruising, right? Oh, yeah. Which is something that I have not committed to yet. When we <laughs> were at the Red River Gorge meetup, we chatted with Carlson and him and Paige, or Brian and, Car and Paige were, had just gone on one, or going on one. I was like, wow. And it sounded really awesome. Um but you had an, a kind of a celebratory cruise last year that you guys took. Oh um, yeah, we did. Like that was cool. Tell us about that. We went to Italy. Yeah. yeah. Venice. We stayed what two or three days there? Two two days or two nights in Venice. We that was stayed. Awesome. it was our twenty five year anniversary. Congrats. Nice. We left, um grandparents are from Italy. My grandpa. Her grandpa is from Italy. And, and so she's always talked about going to Italy. So I just decided I'll book us a trip for a 25 year anniversary. And what better way to see a lot of Italy than a cruise that cruises all around Italy. So okay, we start in Venice and we stay there for a few days. We hop on a boat and we hit um, Rome. Well, we hit okay. a few places, um, but we hit Rome. We hit Florence. We hit Sicily. Um, mm, did, you, did you guys stop at the Amalfi Coast? No, we didn't get to the Amalfi Coast. No. Okay. okay. That's something you talked about maybe yeah. next year. Yeah. That's so cool. I mean, I would love. I mean, my yeah. my, so my, my I Italy. wanted I want to do Southern Italy and Sicily. Yeah. Sicily oh. with me. Yeah. Are the canals really that busy? Like I, when I saw this, that's I was, crazy. Uh, well, there, there was a race going on through the canals, oh, the day okay. we and so that's what you're seeing there. Okay. okay. That picture, we're standing on a bridge, yeah. And I saw all these people coming through on some kind of race, and I just thought that's pretty neat. But no, normally it's not near. Okay. I was like, okay. holy moly, when I saw that. But I mean, so that's a kind of one of those hybrid things because when you're in a uh, in Europe, especially, I mean, you're doing so much walking. No, you're, we get, you're getting your steps in, yeah. you know, yeah. right? Like and then there's the yeah, history, yeah. right? At least seven kind miles. Of awesome. And then um, you did your latest cruise, right? Yeah. Which was, I want it so quickly. So we went to, um, where were we? Margaritaville. We were in Margaritaville in February, but I didn't know there was a Margaritaville boat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get out of that so what um what was that i know it was only a quick two-day cruise but was it like the jimmy buffett theme stuff like the oh, it was definitely jimmy okay buffett theme. okay yeah okay. you could only hear you know where's the salt where's the salt so many times you get <laughs> sick of it. Uh, okay well that's fun though i mean you got to like i don't know get your time up and you got to go to the bahamas which is kind of right. cool yeah, awesome. it was nice it was, it was like I said, an unplanned trip, but it was it was good to right. I mean, really, when you're just out and about, if you're just staying in a hotel and buying all your food, it's just about as cheap to just get on a cruise ship for a couple of days. People do say that actually. For, yeah. um, and when you wake up in the morning, you're just in a different location. Right, right, right. right. That's awesome. And then you go on your established cruise, the yep. one that was already ready to go. So you know what you're doing. You know that you're, you know, cruising out of Tampa. You're hitting all these awesome spots. Um, I know a couple of the spots were ones that, you know, John has wanted to dive. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we Which one? Belize was one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. yeah. I'd never been, I have friends that have been there several times and I've always wanted to go. And and that's the reason we booked that cruise that we booked is because Belize was one of the stops. Right. And then, so you'd never had that. So there's this. Yeah. So you guys had to, what, you were hiking and then? Yeah, we were hiking through the rainforest. Rainforest. Okay. Yeah. Where there's all kinds of they had di several different kinds of cats, jaguars, jaguars. What? Um, yeah. Thank you. Oh, like not like little house cats. No. Yeah, oh, sheesh! I'm out. Yeah. So then. Uh, well, then you can go to the rafting. We actually walked through a cave where the jaguar. We saw jaguar prints. Stop it. It's called Tiger Cave because they call it. Jaguars, tigers down there, oh, and that's where okay. the jaguars roam at night. Whoa! Um, it's through that cave. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then it was cave tubing. And then we went cave tubing. So we went, hopped on some tubes, and went through this cave on some inner tubes. Yeah. yeah. And that's saw some, crazy. Saw some fisherman spiders that were bigger than a dinner plate that eat fish. What? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but they don't bug you oh, guys. Oh, wait, wait. Did you say they eat fish? They eat fish. Yeah. No, yeah, they, do. they do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They do. They're like this yeah. big. That is crazy yeah. town. With their I, with their legs and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have never heard of that before. Yeah, and I had I have a picture of one somewhere on my Instagram and and it was pretty big and it was Ish. probably about ten foot away from my feet. Oh my god. Um, You're killing me. Uh, it was neat. To see. That's cool, though. He don't want nothing so, to do with you. He just wants to go fishing. Yeah, no, I wasn't a fish. <laughs> no, I know. John's <laughs> done the cenote diving. You know, right where you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we went swimming in some cenotes, but no, we've never went diving. This is, or is it? No, no. Can you see this, was, this was just a little river that went through a cave. Okay, so you can't see the other side. No. Ugh. Ugh. That's yeah, it's dark crazy. in there for a while, but everybody had headlights on, so it was wow! Holy moly! Super so cool. When you stop at every um, uh, location, are you <clears throat> trying to do an excursion every time? Uh, almost every time. Some of the excursions, though, are like a beach day. You know, normally we try to get one beach day in on a cruise, yeah. and yeah. we try to we try to do something adventurous on every cruise too. That's nice. Now, now on this cruise, we did two adventurous things because when we were in Cozumel, we went um, we went scuba diving, snorkeling, snorkeling <laughs> with sharks and rays. Stop and it. That was pretty neat. That was um, sweet. So you guys saw nurse sharks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were bigger than me. I didn't expect them to be that oh, yeah. big. Nur what? Nurse sharks. Yeah, get up they were bigger than me. And 12 feet long. Yeah. And, and the rays were bigger than my arm span. Dude, so, do you, were they the um, were they the spot spotted eagle rays? I don't know. That I don't know. They were. Uh, so they I had didn't like have to. They had like a big, like a like a snout with a really long straight tail. No, they, no, they no. Like they did they, not have that. They didn't have that. They were just. They were they were big. They uh, were velvety though, like they would come and swim by your legs, and it felt like velvet. Oh yeah, I know. Okay, I know what rays you're you talking about. Mean, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> No, I am out. I am not doing. I don't want anything. <laughs> to do from the to. Oh, I wasn't gonna she do said, I'm not getting in with rays. I'm not getting in with sharks. I totally expected to do it by myself. And then she gets in. I was like, I don't even know what's going on. She's supposed to be the reasonable one to keep us from you know, doing crazy things. If she's not going to stop me anymore, I really don't know how far we're going. Oh, my gosh. From skydiving to whitewater rafting to swimming with the sharks and the get <laughs> out of here. Who are you, Celeste? That's fun. <laughs> That's cool. I think I'm rubbing that. off on her. Oh, I love it. But you know what that is? That's a goal, right? It's couples goals. You're doing it <laughs> yep. together. And that is incredible. Yeah, um, the, uh, I mean, I mean, we, I like said, we, we were, I was in Cosmo and I was diving down there and, and stuff like that. It's just, it's, Cosmo is like one of top three, top five dive locations and for and snorkeling for, to see, you know, the aquatic life and the colors down there. It's just a nice, easy drifting float. 
Yeah, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Crazy. How how important is um accountability for you? Like, hey, because you're uh, yeah. you're you're on this you're on this agenda. You've got a timeline. You know, you want to get it done, and um, you know, you want to you have that accountability. Like, you're just like, how important is that? You want to make sure you're doing it. Uh, I think it's it's pretty important, but it's yeah. not the most important. Right. Um, like I said, there's times I, 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 I know myself, I know that I, I don't like to back down from anything. Once I say I'm going to do something, right. I like to pull it through. But after what happened on that Colorado mountain in March, a few years ago, I realized that living to fight another day sometimes has to trumpet and you have to be okay to say, you know what, we're, we're not we're not doing, we're not going to do what we had set out to do. And that's okay. It's okay. And, and I am okay with it. Um, I push myself to, to do things that are out of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. um, I feel that that helps me grow the best. That helps me um, find out where my limits are. Right. And, you know, and so I do that in all these type of adventures when I go, you know, I, I rode a, a, a road race last year called Ride Across Indiana, rain ride, 160 miles. I'd never rode over 100 miles before. Wow. And, uh, and I do those things just because I want to see how, you know, even if I, I did complete it, but even if I wouldn't have completed it, it would let me know how far I could go. Sure. sure. Um, and so the Appalachian Trail, I don't look at that this year as a failure at all. I looked at it as it showed me how far I could go. It showed us what we need to work on. And our plan is to go back this fall and hit another section. Right. I love it. And yeah. I call that those are my unintended outcomes because now Celeste is peeing outside on her own. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. <Okay. laughs> what, whatever that is, those little steps, you kind of go, wow, you know, I did that. And it just creates a stronger bond because you're learning these new things together or trying it together. And I always feel that we learn something new about each other when we're doing it. Even though oh, yeah. we've been together, oh, yeah. it doesn't matter how long you've been together. It's, it's just seven years. It's just, well, yeah, we're seven. But I mean, it's just, it's awesome, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's what I get out of. I think we both do, you know? And you just sure. said it. So it's, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, the ultimate goal awesome. is like, yeah, you want to swing for the fences, but you know, it's not, there's nothing wrong with yeah. just doing a little bunt to move the, to, you right. know, move the bases. Right on. Absolutely. Uh, coin a baseball. Yeah, exactly. Thing. What about some wildlife on some trips? Oh yeah. I, I've seen my fair share of wildlife. Okay. Um, we didn't see any bears on the Appalachian trail. Which, right? No, no signs. No, no, no That's signs good. of. Mm -hmm. a bear um i've i actually had a fox i thought it was going to walk up to me when i was hiking in colorado uh, when i was going up mount elbert Ooh. the second time it just started walking right toward us um i got a couple of good little videos of it just it, it's walking the trail it's heading down as we're heading up and Elton looked at me and goes, what do we do? And I said, well, let's just stand here and see what it does. And it, sure. it starts walking toward us. And I was like, oh, okay, um, this is cool. And then it just gets off the trail and walks just probably 10 feet from us, around us, and then gets back on the trail and he's gone. He's probably he's that's probably cool. he's probably used to it, you know. Right. Oh, well, oh, I'm sure. Seeing so many people and that's probably his territory. Yeah. <laughs> That is so fun. What's your next trip then? What is the next trip? Well, we've got two things working that we're working on. I think our plan is in the fall, we're going to hit the Appalachian Trail again. Okay. Uh, we need okay. to because next year, um, there's this thing called the Tour de Mont Blanc. In France? Yes. No. Well, it's it's Italy, Switzerland. It goes it's around. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. And uh, we're not going up it because it's 18,000 foot. Um, wow. We're 16,000. But we're hiking around it, and it's about a 100-mile hike. Yep. And your highest elevation is only 8,500 feet. And she does fine 
at that. And so it's probably going to be a two week trip is what we're planning oh, yeah. on. And we just, we fell in love with Europe when we were over there last time. Yeah. We sure. don't want it to be one of those once in a lifetime experiences and then we never make it back. So this gets us to hike and yeah. to see a lot of cool villages as we're mm -hmm. hiking around this mountain. Yes. So that's, that's our plan. That's I've, we've seen a lot of the. I've watched a lot of those videos for sure. It's like it's a like, holy moly. I feel like you guys should hike the Camino. What is that? The Camino de Santiago. It's, it's, a, it's out it's a, your alley. It's yeah. a charcuterie trail. You stop yeah. everywhere you stop, you get meat, cheese, and wine. It's five hundred miles. <laughs> it's how long? Five hundred miles. Five hundred miles. Oh wow! Is, is that what Matt's brother did? Is it? It was what well, he did with the cross the trails, trails. Um, and it, you know, it starts in France and goes all the way through northern Spain. Okay, and, uh, I think that was what he did. Yeah, yeah. Usually it's about like a thirty-day kind of. Yep. That might be. Yeah. That's it. Like okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. All yeah. All that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Our goal is to uh, hopefully, hopefully, do it next year. We're gonna see for you know, obviously plans for what we got going next on year or the whole thing. The whole thing. Oh no, we'll do the whole oh, thing. Wow. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Awesome. For yeah. sure. Heck yeah. But when I, I when I first learned about it, I said, I'm going. I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's and majority of it is super the the hike is majority of it's flat. Yeah. I like mean, and the, it's like day old, packs. And, like uh, nothing. It's not heavy. The elevation is more ever usually at the uh, is at the very beginning. In uh, the Pyrene not usually in, in the Pyrenees. There it is like mm -hmm. what? A couple hundred feet. Yeah. No, it's more than that. More than that. Yeah, Anyways, yeah. So it's not nothing crazy, but yeah, you're you don't you're not carrying any tents or none of that sleeping pads no. or anything like that. You're just carrying a day pack, you know. Yep. So you know you you know water boo boo kit, you know that sort of thing, because you you don't uh, you can't disperse camp along the trail. So you're only going to be staying at hostels yeah. or communals or yeah. um, which uh, is really cool hotels yeah. at each of your locations wherever you like to stay. Yeah. And you, you know, that, you that's kind that. of how they have it set up for that uh, tour de Mont Blanc as well. Yeah, they do. Little villages, and and so exactly. uh, that sounds fabulous. The uh, we we decided that uh, we were going to give ourselves trail names while we were out there because <laughs> because you know, you and, and I told her I told her that you have to make fun of somebody when you do it. You can't just give somebody a cool name. And she goes, "Well, what are you going to give my name to be?" And I said. You're going to be turtle because you're slow <laughs> and you have this big green pack on it. She said, all right. And then she called me the mule because I carry so much For like a mule. Reasons. Yeah. I said, but then there's also another animal that's that's like a mule and I can be like that sometimes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I, I we still, got turtle I, and mule. I, I love that. I still have yet to be doing the trail name yet but an opportunity will it right it, you right. know will present itself at one i time. love it i love it bring bring up the puppy let me see the puppy come oh, here come here, come here. Come here. See, come I, here. I feel like i need to see the dog <laughs> oh, tanya, tanya wants to the camino but the mm -hmm. but the the oh, north, yeah, north way. Oh, oh it's like a husky mix yeah, yeah husky malamute uh, oh oh Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> Very nice. And then what about Michigan? Are you guys going to come back up this way? I know because Celeste, you came well, with some girlfriends, right? For the well, holiday. This weekend. <laughs> you need to help me decide if I'm coming up there tomorrow night. Oh, um, okay. I have a gravel bike race in uh, close to Grand Rapids tomorrow or Saturday morning. Okay. It's 30 mile race. It's been raining an awful lot up there. Yeah. Yes. Um, how close are you to Grand Rapids? We're in Grand Rapids. We're in Grand Rapids. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this is Saranac. Is that how you pronounce this little town? Yeah, Saranac. That's just uh, east of here. Okay, so that's that's where my race is. Okay. Is it kind of flooded in that area? Because I really don't want to. Uh, all depends on which way the route goes. Um... Are you going that way tomorrow? No, you're I'm, not going that way. No, tomorrow. I'm going up to the UP. Oh, you're going, going up to, tomorrow. I'm going to the UP. Um, no, uh, gosh, I don't know exactly. I mean, I'm, I'm not a cyclist, so uh, for trail riding and such like that, so I don't know for a fact. 
Um, right. And I, I don't just, know, and I don't know anybody that lives out there to check. I, I just, it's awful early in the season to sure. get that muddy, that wet, and uh, cold. It's been raining uh, all day here. That's yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Let me, uh, yeah. Let me take a look at He's the. Gonna look uh, at that. I'll pop the radar right? up in like two seconds. Here. What about Canada? No well, way. we've been through Canada. Okay. Um, I would love to get up there. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it's gonna rain all weekend. Just saying. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> well, I'm, I'm okay. probably not going this weekend then. Um, oh, it's I, a green I, screen. Yeah, you green can't screen. see it. I can't see it. It's, <laughs> it'll never. Okay, put it this way. That's all green. <laughs> and we're the little, if you see a little blue dot, yeah, that's us, and everything else is oh, green. God. That's so funny. You know what I was thinking before we got talking about Canada? You know what you guys need to do? Have you ever heard of outside comfort zone? He's actually in. You just pop in the chat here. He has these things. Can I get it on there? Oh, oh hang on. It won't focus. It won't focus. It, it, it won't focus. We're, we're Anyways, you know, like a name tag you'd wear like at a convention, right? Yeah. So this one says, hello, my trail name is, and then you put <laughs> your trail name on it. But I said to John, I don't just don't want to put it on like, you know, a water bottle or whatever, right? So he's right. going to land. I'm going to write my trail name, which is Tink, and we're going to laminate it, and I'm going to hang it off my backpack. Oh, I like and that I, idea. I'll, I'll send you. I'll send you the link for this. <laughs> okay. okay. Because I, I like feel it. like it's so cute. I know you can put turtle and and mule. mule. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, you guys have been fun. Oh, yeah, this, this has been fun. great. It has been good. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. It's it's been a giggle fest. I know. Again. again. And I always just say so. Like, I always watch the rewind, right? And I just know when I watch it, like, we all just have these big smiles on our faces. And it's just <laughs> nice when you're sharing stories with like minded people, you know. You guys done some really cool trips. Amazing. Amazing. Well, we try to get out every chance we get. Life yeah, gets so busy if you don't make the time, it'll just get away from you. Yeah. Yeah. Super nice to see you. I feel bad that we're not going to see you at the, uh, at the meetup in a couple weeks, but you're not going to be there either. No, no, so, we'll be, I know. We'll be at a wedding. At the wedding. I know. <laughs> right. Which is awesome as well. So thank you so much for popping on. Thanks for sharing stories with us. I'm glad that we got to do the remix, you know, three and a half months later kind of thing, but mm -hmm. it worked out in everyone's favor this yeah, time. Absolutely. So, Oh, so good. Here, super. Uh, oh, Tim said, any idea if there's canoe tracking names too? Ooh. Oh, there, might be, there might be. Hey, if they want there to be, you can just yeah, give yourself why not? for any kind of I, adventure. I feel, I feel like there, there should be, but that is so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm excited about what you got going on next, and we will all stay tuned because you know you post that stuff on your Instagram, which is fun. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we follow them. And we need to. Uh, we'll tr have to meet up somewhere and how and why or whatever. We're not that far from each other, whether we no, live no, in the middle or whatever gonna, that looks like. It's going to be a stone throw away this weekend. Well, this weekend, but yeah. I but know. it's not like I'll be out there and like, oh, I'll go meet him up. No, he's going to be on trail. trail yeah, right? right, exactly. <laughs> but no, let's. It'll it'll be nice to hang out for sure. Yeah. So sure. thanks again yeah. for hanging out and don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. We're gonna drop you the base bump so we can do a quick little outro. All right. Sounds good. All right. Thanks. Thanks so much again. Thank you. Okay. Cool. I, I, like, I want to go to this. I know. I feel like all of a sudden now he's been like, we're planning a new trip, folks. <laughs> no, the no. Big, we got to get the big trip. We do. We do. We do. That, um, the Camino. Super nice to see Camino, everybody. Camino, Camino, Camino. We got a lot of. Remember, Camino. I know. Yes. Camino. Thank you. Oh. Just a reminder. Hey, Camino. Right. Here we go. This is This is what I like. Awesome couple. Awesome couple. Well, Agreed. Thank, Agreed. Us? Oh, thank you, Tangent. Get out of here, Jerry. I, I, I Another know. five of the show. Oh, thanks, so it, Tim. Yeah. They are. They're a great couple. It, it's just. How do you know it's not? Uh, it's not Pamela? Yeah. It could be Pamela. Hi, Pamela. Thanks, Pamela. Right. It's them. I know, right? They but might be watching together on the couch. They could be, and I hope they both are. But it was lovely to catch up with Philip and Celeste. Um, again, another, another like-minded couple, so many like linear things. I like that a lot. Linear. Linear. Like we do all the same linear. stuff. One thing I didn't bring up because I did notice they played, wait a minute. I did notice they played tennis. 
So I'm going to have to ask him about that in the green room because pickleball, that's our next jam. We're going to be pickleballers, everybody. So watch out. <laughs> Lord help us all. I know. Anyways. Hey, we have tennis rackets too. We do have tennis. We, well, we do have tennis rackets. That's a true story. <laughs> We've used them once, I think. But they're nice rackets. I'm just saying. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Well, thanks for hanging out with us again. Yeah. We well, appreciate seeing everybody. What else better to do on a rainy Thursday night? Right on. Right on. So we'll see you in a couple of weeks for sure. Um, so thanks for joining in, everybody. What do you got? Oh, he's going to watch some hockey tonight, go which wings. is fun. Make sure you go follow. My, my captain right there. Right on. Make sure you go follow an adventurous life and, you know, watch what uh, Philip and Celeste are up to, which is exciting. And um, have a great weekend ahead. I got to look up that spider. Oh, gosh. I'm not. I won't be able to sleep. Big is your head. <laughs> Tangent. Every, you be good and warm. It's going to be a chilly night. Oh, Put your little time to start a campfire. Put your McWick to come. Dude, it's almost nine o'clock. That's or, right. Well, it's probably still a little bit of light they, down there. We have a, ta a time zone change, sir. I don't know. All right. Miss everybody. Look forward to seeing you all soon. And um, thanks again for tuning in. That's right. You all have a good time. And we'll see you on the next quest. Yeah, you will. Peace out, Cub Scouts.